Hi, everyone. How are you? (laughs) We're drinking our coffee. Um, They have their, Starbucks has their holiday mugs out. or or Mugs? Mugs, not mugs. I wanted to see what they say. Remember um, a couple of years ago when there was that whole controversy about the, the yeah, holiday cups? Yeah, what was it exactly that was on the cup that made it controversial? I don't I know, recall. but you know what? I think they solved it by gluing this thing to it. Okay. So Whoa, that's filthy. Don't, don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> I see okay, so it's pretty now, it's non-offensive. Yeah. But about a no, couple no, years no. ago... So it's cool. A couple of years ago, people were freaking out. There was a whole controversy. You don't remember? That I was... do. No, I do. But I can't yeah. remember what, what was I it can't specifically remember. because it, it was something not... about the design that they didn't like. It must Did it have say not holiday been that... instead of, you know, the name of the holiday? I think it said Jesus saves or something. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Jesus drinks at Starbucks. And you're like, that's offensive. And then and then on the other side, it said God is not real. <laughs> it is. Yeah. That way. yeah. So they were way out really of line. Like, yeah. <laughs> look, your coffee, but you're coming in hot. Let's see who's here. Hi, Katie. How are you? Hope you're having a great Hello. Sunday. We, Monday pronou- we for... pronounce the, the E, isn't it? Kate or Katie? KT, I don't know. Foresight. I know Foresight. Oh, the, no. Okay. There was there was a Kate above. I'm sorry. Okay. So hello, Kate. Hello, Katie. And Eddie is, uh, for those of you who don't know, he's been on, he's a friend of the show. No, he's a uh, friend <laughs> of the show. And um, we, uh, we've known each other since high school. So uh, for a couple of years now. For a couple of years. And uh, we've stayed great friends since then. I can't talk about the other thing <laughs> i'm not allowed to talk about the other thing anymore and uh hi resting doll face is here hi and um uh Dollface. we have a good time together so we thought we'd uh get a man's perspective right. for twin talk once in a while because it's good to have a man's perspective on what's going on with this Megan Markle, Omid Scoby nonsense. Scobie. Thank you, Emily. Very nice of you. It is morning in Australia. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. D. Campbell says good afternoon. So thank you. Hi from Montreal. Bonjour. I will be in Canada tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> I always, I always, I always say my plane's gonna go down. Yeah, yeah. I'm a very nervous flyer. And I got a new doctor recently, and he's really nice. But I had to give him the whole spiel on, uh, you know, because I, because I. What do you have to do to before yeah. you fly? What, what, so, what's the? Yeah, I was just like, he was just like, um, well, what, you know, and I, and and he just he prescribed me my Xanax so fast because he was sick of hearing it. Because I was like, look, I just I get to the airport and I freak out, and then I don't like going up. I don't like going up. You don't, you don't like the up part. But I can go down. down and he goes, okay, fine. And he was like wanting to get rid of me because I was like going into it about how much I dislike flying. I just don't like it. And um, I'm a big baby. Hi, Andrea. Hi from Tampa, Florida. Hello. Hope the weather, is the weather nice in Tampa? Well, I don't know. Is Florida nice in Florida? I don't know. I hear How's it. How's it going in Florida? How do you I like it there? I hear it never Somebody's got to do it. in Southern <laughs> California. That's Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow? Barry. We have some news on Barry Manilow coming up later we in the do, show. We do have some news. Um, <laughs> Andreas, hi. Hi from upstate New York, a.k.a. South Canada. That is true. <laughs> Raining it's now. Raining, raining now. now. It was raining. It's raining here, right? Ugh, it was raining all morning. And I, I know this because um, my dog, Lady, does not like to get out of bed when it um, rains, which is good for me. But I'm going to adjust my. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little sitting thing here. Our stool. Stools, our stools suck. Here, do you want it to go up? Yeah, let's more? bring it up a little bit. How's that? There we go. Is that better? Is that what okay? do you think? Is that better? I don't care. How's that work? No, I'm asking. Yeah. The people who <laughs> okay. are staring at us, you know. Hello from Team Nancy Fan Club HQ. Hi, Dan. Um, hi from the foggy, rainy Northeast. Well, um, I made the mistake of telling Stephanie yesterday that there were some people in the chat a week ago that does they do not like it when I cut Stephanie off and I say your opinion doesn't matter. I guess I say things like that. I, mean to... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I literally said that. They didn't like that. They thought I was hurting Stephanie's feelings. So 
Stephanie goes over to YouTube to read it because she's like, did they really say that? And I go, yeah, there were like so many comments saying, be nice to your sister, do this. So all yeah. morning, that's all I've been hearing is her going, you know what, Nancy, Nancy I, you are mean to, You're me. Mean to me. So You're guys, to what me. are you doing to me? What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, I wanted to see this. Steph, the alter nerd, just had a paralegal on and has worked in the entertainment circle. She believes Omid may have a contract with Megan Harry. She made a lot of sense. I'm going to have to watch that. She's the girl yeah. that goes on uh, Popcorn Planet. Now, Eddie. Yes. I was about to say the other name. Yeah, of course. Eddie. But we've signed that agreement now, so you no it's longer allowed to do contract. that. The thing you couldn't refer to anymore, you can't. You've signed okay. the contract. I, it's, yeah, it's my NDA <laughs> to work with you. Um, okay, so you do you know what's going on with this whole end game nightmare? I I only know a very, very little from having tuned into your uh you had a multi-panel call in show. Or, we, or had, a live, we had three a live, yeah. celebrities in our in our panel show. It was awesome. We had uh, Sue Smith. We had Resting Dollface, who's here right now. Okay. And we had Megan Small. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm curious to to learn about this because the first thing that that strikes me right out of the gate is that this book is titled entitled Endgame. Yeah. Endgame. Okay. Endgame was the name of an Alex Jones conspiracy documentary from 2007 bad branding you don't want to start your your, your book that's going to be an expose with the same title as an alex jones documentary i wouldn't even have known that yeah are yeah. you a fan of alex I, jones? I am not a fan of alex <laughs> no, jones I know. <laughs> <laughs> but but i am a fan of super male vitality which we have available here on twin talk <laughs> Okay. I am single. He SW. is single. He's single. Single and looking. He's single and looking. Um. Okay, but 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 honestly, okay. So th this this so Omid. This scrub name, um, Omid Scrotum or Scabies or, or we call we give him a lot of names around yeah. here. Here, this is not. This is not even. It's driving me nuts. I'm sorry, my OCD. Um. Okay. So. But we stopped. It's looking good to me. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> Megan Markle did this once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When Wait, during... did, did she start this way? No, no, no. she like danced her way over? During, and during COVID, her and Harry were doing all these weird Zoom calls to people that nobody, were, they weren't asking for, but they just kept popping up on Zoom. <laughs> yeah. And there was this one where. Like, okay, they were Zoom bombing people. Yeah, they they showed were, up in the middle of somebody's Zoom. They meeting. were. That's a new word Zoom bomb. <laughs> they were Zoom bombing people. And there was one of Megan and Harry. I, I'm not kidding when I say uh, this. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll 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 try to find the picture. But okay, I'm okay. Harry. Okay. Yeah. And this is him. And this is Harry the whole time. And and it and was the going and going oddest and going, yeah? thing. <laughs> and she's going and going. And I'm just thinking, back then I didn't know what Zoom was. I didn't know. I'm like, maybe they can't see what we're you seeing. See, no, she saw the, it. The trick is though, you, you start this way. Okay, you, you do the side. You do the side. Yeah, the side. that's what oh, she wait, was wait, 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 wait. But then you, then you, then you lean in and you, you <laughs> fill the screen. <laughs> she needs to get that second move down. It was then... the weirdest thing. Okay, so let's see what you guys have to say. There was an even an explanation as to what Endgame meant in the book. How daft is that? He. He want wait like the term Endgame. He, he wants was, you to know what the term means. He wants to. Okay, this is what this scrub is trying to say to everybody. Hello, Tiger, he's, by the way. Sharp eye. He's saying that the monarchy, as we know it, might be uh, at its end. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, sure. Uh -huh. Because, exactly. Because yeah. King Charles is, you know, not a very pop popular. Not going to have the longevity of an omen, is what you're telling me. Exactly. And he's like, they're, they're problematic. Kate and William are boring. And the fact that they they didn't utilize Meghan Markle and her star power is the <laughs> worst thing they could have ever done. Like, I'm not. I'm not okay, I'm, am I telling you that? Power? Are you hearing this for the first time? Yes. So this what is, do you what do you think me. about that? That's exactly Desiree says that's Scobie's truth. <laughs> 
I, you know, let's let's get into some of the details because I have questions. I have questions. Okay, what's your and question? you have answers. So, I have answers. So what is that? Uh, do you have that article? Can you pull that up? Do you have that? This article handy. This one or just the headline? You just have the headline. Oh no, I have the article. Okay, yeah. There are some points I have. Okay, one is that he 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 discloses names about this uh this ongoing skin tone thing, right? He was that, he, that, like they, they they put that out there a while ago. He like, this was during not, the Oprah interview, correct? Okay, during the Oprah interview. How do you not know any of this? I, know, I, I bring know, it see, up I, right I, know, now. I know that was brought up there, but okay. I don't know like it's what's a, happened it's, since. It's, yeah. it's a good thing I have all this stuff. That's right. Don't worry. I have it all. I didn't think I'd have what to. What did they say in the game? I didn't King think interview. I'd have to bring it up. They never had a game. It was just Oprah. What? Yeah. What kind of friend is she? <laughs> you, um, here, I'm pulling it up right now. Look at how I have it. I have it under two. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. I'll say I've never used the R word. No. I'm still going to call it racism. In the Oprah interview, you accuse right. members of your family of racism. You don't even... Really? Well, of... The British press said that. And the specifics around her race? Did Meghan ever mention that they're, they're racist? And if a member of his family will comfortably say, we've all had to deal with things that are rude. Rude and racist are not the same. This is about race. Attacks on them were different because of race. Because it's, this was different. You know, it's different because different because of the race. <laughs> that is racism. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Let's let's. A Dutch copy of the book. Yes. Was released. Which sounds dirty, by the way. Dutch copy. Anytime you put the word Dutch in front of something, right? A Dutch copy. Why is that dirty? That just sounds like a little question. Will be like, oh, I'm going to go get a Dutch copy, and you go. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I think so. I'm, I'm watching what <laughs> I say. shower? Think I'm, about that. I'm watching, the word in there. I'm watching what I say now because <laughs> you, you scolded me before the show that I that I, I? there are certain things I can't talk about. <laughs> That's only agreement. Let's he not, not even bring, broach it. Not he didn't think it. I'd bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I even, you didn't think I'd bring okay, it up. So the Dutch copy. Okay, so the, a Dutch copy comes out and all this woman did, the, the translator that that took his manuscript, she just translated it. And in the Dutch copy, King Charles and Princess Catherine, Prince, Princess of Wales, were named yeah. as the, 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 the people. This is the problem. Obviously, now Scobie's saying... He's not. He's saying that he had nothing to do with it. Okay. See, now this is exactly what I wanted to get into because yes. I just looked over the article quickly to, to familiarize myself with it for this. Yes. He sends it to the Dutch publisher, which yes. again, um, but uh, the manuscript. The, the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The manuscript goes there. They're not filling in the blanks. There's no way that if those names weren't there, they're just going to put those names into into the the book, into the final final product. So they're in exactly. there. They're in the manuscript that he sells. So he's lying about that. He's lying about yeah. that. Yes. Um, is he doing it in the Dutch version? Of, I, I'm thinking it's twofold. Okay, first of all, one is like it gets publicity if it's only in a certain edition. That's one thing. You know, it's going to get more publicity. But the other is, is he's trying to uh, sidestep Sorry. legal issues in in other countries and other pub publications he's claiming is, is there like a libel issue that he could be hit with if it's in a different uh edition outside of the dutch is the dutch a safe haven for him to be able to to push this forward stay on subject but i just wanted you to say that which one is that oh my oh! god i got the biggest okay. crush on eddie thank you well now that it's always the subject so <laughs> yeah. we don't have to he's saying that he doesn't know how they got a copy of that manuscript he sort of hints in an interview that he does that he's like and stephanie doesn't agree with me stephanie thinks that that there was only one manuscript okay. he kind of hints that there was more than one manuscript because he never comes out and says I, guys that's not the names of them I, i'm and, thinking right off that he had one that he sent to this publisher for this deal yes. and he had another that he sent in, in other deals for other languages. Exactly. I'm 100%. Well, no. And then they're saying that there was one that they were named in the Italian version, too. Does anybody have any verification on that? that they were named in the Italian version. But again, if, if by doing it in these other like languages, in these other deals, is he able to not have to worry about a legal fallout in these editions where he would in others? Do we know anything about that? If he, if he could face... Some sort of legal that's, backlash. That's why we're here. 
I think that King Charles, A, needs to take the titles away from Harry and Meghan, mm -hmm. but B, he needs to do legal action against Omid Scobie. Mm -hmm. Because look at this poor woman. That is the Dutch translator. And she's getting... But she has a nice green jacket. <laughs> Did anyone get that? I don't know if anyone got that. <laughs> she, isn't she? She's got a she's great... She's gorgeous. She's got a great perm. Yeah. Um, no, but, nice but in, all, in all seriousness, this woman is getting bombarded right now and getting harassed oh, oh, no. she, like as if she's the one who did this because right. omen is saying there's absolutely no way okay that listen, listen that he thing. gave her that so he version. you know how i know he's lying how do you know robert i mean eddie <laughs> <laughs> because he, he allegedly he went on tv and he was going to swear on his life and on the life of his family and all that nobody does that unless they're lying nobody in real life in the real world yeah. ever says Goes on TV and says, I swear on my life or I yeah. swear on my family, except a liar. Exactly. I agree with you. And Meghan Markle you know? does that and too. And I, th I think his oath was as real as the face on his face. Yes. I don't buy it for a second. <laughs> Savannah says it's a crime in the UK to make uh, our allegations against someone. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's why I'm wondering if he's trying to, yes. to get past that in these yes. other editions. That is the thing. If he does not produce some sort of um, proof that King Charles and the Princess of Wales are the ones who did it. Because this is the problem. Here's the problem. He's coming out and he's saying that, listen, uh, Stephanie and I have discussed this on the show yeah. before. Our parents had the same discussion when, when before we were born. My dad's got bl blonde hair, blue mm -hmm. eyes. My my mom's obviously you know dark sure. and but they're and also very virulent racist so that's that's, real, <laughs> yeah. that's a real problem we have with this so so this is the thing Omid doubles down mm -hmm. in this interview uh, two days ago or yesterday this is the one where he swears on his life and his family the same interview different interview I I, I don't I don't think he ever swore on his well, that's no, what it this says is in the articles there was one. one oh no no did, no so. this is a different one but he but he basically says that. There's nothing wrong with like wondering what the kid's going to look like. This is the problem, though, he says. Uh -huh. There were concerns at the level of darkness that Archie would be. Well, and 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 he's how, actually saying. How is he saying, privy to this? How does he know exactly, this? Exactly. He's actually saying that Princess Catherine, uh -huh. Princess Catherine and King Charles are concerned at the skin color and what that would mean. Well, one, That's I, don't, what I, he's saying. I don't believe that. But two, there are only a couple of people who could tell him that. Wait, oh, of course. So, That's you know, like, yeah, yes. yeah, there's only a couple of people who may be privy to that information. And I don't think they're King Charles. That's one of them, you know. No. Yeah. no. So, yeah. Okay. So, th so that's what I'm saying. He needs legal action. And it has they have they have to get out of him. So who told you that? Okay. And he needs to be able to say, Meghan Markle told me that. And if she didn't say it directly to him, he needs to give the name. So so do you think that Meghan Markle gave him this information? Or do you think that she like put out she, the bait, he took it, and then he got it from somebody else? I think she put out the bait. Mm -hmm. I don't think she physically went to him, even though he's been in Southern California since June. I don't think she, I don't think physically she like talked to him, but of course she. Of course that's that's she, right, Gwen. That's exactly what I'm I'm wondering about more lenient laws and in, in the Dutch cup. I think what Eddie is trying to say is that if he releases the names in the Dutch versions because their laws are more lenient when it comes to certain allegations. That's, that's exactly what I'm can. curious about. Is if that's what's going well, on. If that's a possibility. What we think. Do we think that? And this is where my boy Piers Morgan comes in. Oh, that's good. I was going to mention Piers as well. Piers knew exactly what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Omid Scobie told James O'Brien yesterday, well, Piers Morgan is making a bigger deal out of this, and he's the one that named the names. Piers Morgan did that on purpose. Uh -huh. Piers Morgan needed to do that because Piers Morgan knows now that King Charles has the ammunition to go around, I mean, it has the ammunition to now go and take legal action. Because mm -hmm. before it was like, 
Nobody was saying the names. Yeah. And now that the names are out there and instead of Megan and Harry, like saying, okay, look guys, this was said, there was no malintent. This is what Meghan Markle's saying yeah. now. Meghan Markle's now saying, oh, well, I'm just upset that the names had to get out there. <laughs> she's not saying that. Yeah. She's not saying that. Oh, you know, it was it was it, wrong, it, and and it wasn't it, it, it wasn't sound, meant to be racist. It didn't like sound like she was trying to protect names earlier. No, no. But In the least, she's just like, well, I'm really upset that the names got out there, but I'm not going to lose sleep. You know, I guess they're out there now. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's what I'm saying. It's not so, at all what you wanted to have happen. Yeah, I'm sorry to go off on this again, guys. But it's old hat for them, I'm, I'm sure. But you know, really, hey. this is affecting me so much. And I and me too. I'm not I'm even going to buy Endgame anymore. <laughs> like I, I had multiple copies on order. Did, did you have and them I'm on the canceling, way? I'm canceling. I'm canceling. I'm canceling. Cancel them, please. Digital, physical, I had everything. Multiple translations. Now, do you guys really think that King Charles is um, looking for the the leaker? <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys out there? Really? Because I want to ask the Brits out there. I want to ask the UK. How does this work in your country? Yeah. How does this work? Because I know with free speech laws here, this wouldn't be that big of a deal. Well, I, I've heard from a, a number of other cases that it's a very big deal there. It's really easy to get like, you know, caught up in their system. If you make an allegation that is not true, their laws are nowhere near as lenient as ours. That, well, and that's why Harry was pissed. Did you ever hear Harry complain no. about, oh yeah, no, this is really funny. Harry, when he first moved to America, he knocked the first amendment. He goes, I just, man, I just don't get it. <laughs> he hated it. He like Megan forgot. Don't Megan, don't when it. she was painting this picture of she like, paints? okay, no, no. <laughs> I thought you really meant she was painting a picture. When it wouldn't Megan, surprise me. I want. I'm like, I want to see that. When okay. Megan and Marcus and Tyler Perry and Oprah were like painting this picture of Hollywood, they neglected to tell Harry that uh, there's something called the First Amendment here. <laughs> they neglected to tell Harry that the palace is not going to protect you against uh, the press. And they also neglected to tell Harry that Americans are very fickle <laughs> and we stopped giving a shit about them after a couple yeah, months. Yeah. And we did. We literally did. Like, they're not, mar nobody wants them. They are so toxic. Yeah, the, they are the, so the only toxic. way we want them is if they got like really knocked down and more decent. We go like, okay, we'll lift you back up again so we can knock you back down. Exactly, exactly. So that's that's what. Um, he, that's what he called the First Amendment bonkers, and then he, he said it's crazy bananas. He called it bonkers. <laughs> he did. He called it bonkers. <laughs> oh wait, let's see. You have to watch Steph. The all I I I, I do need to watch it. She had. A, oh, you said that. Yeah, she had a paralegal. I'm going to try to get um, somebody who is a, a barrister from the UK on the show. I'm going to. Is this person going to have a special costume on? I don't know. Maybe I'll meet Maybe somebody. Meet, like, Maybe I'll meet somebody in Canada next week and, and they'll be. Mm -hmm. and, and I can ask them about their laws. Somebody just roaming the streets. Is there a barrister? Go, okay. Guys, would you think it was weird if I just if I started recording with somebody? who just, I'm just going to walk the streets. Start Canada. Filming Can yeah. Canadians. Bunty, the Dutch king. Let it be known he was anti Harkel. Good. Yeah, black belt barista. That's who I'm going to get. I'm going to ask. Barista? A or, coffee maker? I mean, black no, belt barista. Coffee. I don't know why I say barista. Barrister. Sorry, guys. Now I know why your coffee tastes so funny. Eddie has a killer smile. My coffee tastes so funny. <laughs> You're can going we to tell, the wrong person. Do you guys want to hear how funny this, this coffee story is? <laughs> we can tell. Do you guys want to hear the coffee story? Or do you? Okay. We'll let you so put, put up a poll. Let them Eddie comes. Yeah. Coffee. Do you guys want to hear the coffee story? It's not that great. So every time Eddie comes over here, he likes to drink the uh, Stephanie's. Stephanie's got this on tap. Hey, nothing beats polar ice. He for me, loves frankly. this so much. Yeah, Stephanie okay. and I are crazy. About Stephanie it. and him. So I have I have it in the fridge and it's ready to go. And he goes, I would love some coffee. And I don't have any coffee. I only drink tea. Now, in, in fairness, I said, do you have coffee? Or hot water. I did say this, but I, but I didn't know I, what he I, meant by the hot water. Yeah. I I thought I thought you were joking when you said hot water because duh, doesn't everyone have hot water? I didn't mean in Not, general. Like, yeah. Can you boil some water? Can you put some hot water? So on? he goes, "Do you have hot water?" And I was like, "Oh." And and my dad was just leaving because my Kurt. dad, 
yeah, my, my, they've met my dad and my dad was here earlier and he was just leaving to go home. One minute. And I Laura, said, I am not a neighbor. We've known each other f since high school. Please tune in when we start the live broadcast. No. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, Laura, we, yeah. um, we know we've each known other, each other from for a high time. school. I had a really big crush on him in high school and he did not reciprocate my love. And I think we should get married to each other. Or just we should get married in general. Like you two seem really, you should go get married. Go find get, people. We can't think, fit four people on the panel. I don't think we can get married anymore because I'm yeah. not, I'm not as orthodox. As <laughs> I think, I think that would be a problem. It's not in the NDA. I, just, I, <laughs> I, I really don't, I, I'm not, I'm not orthodox. So where were we at? Somebody. <laughs> okay. So, so I scream at my dad as he's oh, leaving. Oh, coffee story. Dad, yeah. get the freaking coffee we don't have any coffee in the house and there's a starbucks like a drive-thru my dad doesn't even have to get out of the car he literally just has to stay in his car and go through a drive-thru it's two blocks away he like half an hour goes by i don't know what the hell dad's doing i guarantee he was talking to one of my neighbors because my dad's friendly with everybody if you guys have that kind of dad where he knows everyone everyone loves him i once went to the grocery store with my dad the girl at the bakery, this is what I hear. Hey, Kirk, I got some hot bread I saved for you, just for <laughs> you. And then, and then I go up and you know how like you pay, um, but you know how it's like you don't have anybody to pay for, you do it yourself, the mm -hmm. self-checkout. But they always they, have that some, person somebody, walking like, around. Over there, was, there was another girl and she goes, hi, Kirk. And then I, and then my dad goes, oh, hi, so-and-so. This is, this is my daughter, Nancy. And she goes, your dad's trouble. I swear to God, this happened at the grocery store. Julie's so, asking, who am I? How many times? How who many is Eddie? Okay. Are... He is a friend from high school that we are uh, very good friends. We should change the name of the show to Eddie is a friend from high school. and We are very good friends. <laughs> yes, okay. Next time we'll do that. So anyways, long story short, the coffee eventually gets here. And okay. show him what you now, had now, now what... in your pocket the whole time. Okay. Now, he now, now, now let me tell you this. Out I had this. coffee. He could his own damn coffee let me tell you my side of the story so he's okay sitting here no. waiting for the coffee that's you that were was, i'll tell you why i was waiting for the coffee was because it started with do you have any coffee or any hot water and you say yeah yeah i have coffee and you go in the other room and you you call your father and you talk about coffee and i think well he's just probably over at your place and he's going to get coffee and he's going to make coffee and come back i didn't know there was the the uh why they call it the coffee store? I didn't know it was the coffee store <laughs> down the, down the street. And by the time I realized he was out there, I was like, "Oh, I have coffee in my pocket. I'm not saying anything about this coffee until I have coffee in my hand." And then coffee came back, and I was like, "Well, I, I have coffee, but I didn't know he was going to go buy coffee. I thought he was going to oh, make dude. coffee the whole time. He could have had the damn coffee. Because if Eddie, you give me hot water, Eddie, though, you have, you have huge hands. I, oh, oh, well, I guess I do." Now I could I could um, help you out with that information because I see where you're going with that, but I'm not allowed <laughs> to talk about that anymore. I'm not allowed to talk about that anymore on the show. You know what they say: big hands, big gloves. Big gloves, yes. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, so I don't even know why we were talking about the coffee. The coffee was was weird because this is the coffee episode. This is surprise, the coffee. surprise, the coffee episode. The coffee episode. Bookmark it. <laughs> you play this back for your friends. Remember the time they told the coffee story? Ah, oh, flashback um oh wait that's rebecca english i wanted to show you scoby's picture he took that picture who takes a picture where you can still see the phone we've, we've been able to get past that you can reverse the camera oh, you Scobie don't need to does. do that that's oh, ridiculous he does he does um you wanted to talk about this and i was a little concerned too oh yeah yeah, you saw this in the now everybody knows that Stephanie and I are huge fan of Lowe's. Yes. Huge fan of Lowe's. Big and Barry Mail. You can make fans. that all three, you know. I, I I like him as well. So I was I was troubled to, to read this and I, I thought, you know, well, if he's horrifyingly unrecognizable at the tree lighting, we should take a look at his picture and see what he looks like. Now. Yeah, I'm a little concerned because it was it was uh, there yeah. were two two stories this, this on is, it. Barry well, Manilow gets TMZ roasted. just linked to this. So you know they're they're playing it cheap and they push you over to this and you find out that he's as you said, yeah, roasted for too much Botox. He's roasted for but, too much Botox. Well, let them be the so, judge of this. Let's um, see. I didn't see the tree lighting, so we're gonna take a look I at, at what he looked like. Yeah, no, he doesn't look anything like himself. He's really changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not an unusual look, but no, it's still no. a little bit different. Same, for him. same blue eyes, though. 
Yeah. But the hair is a little different. Why? 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 I don't know why anybody that? would. I don't know why anybody would uh, uh, go after Barry Manilow for that. I mean, I don't think it's too much Botox. Hmm. No, no, it could have been. Um, I think he's a look at that guy. He's like a sex bomb. Jamba gets it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for you, Jamba. That's all for you. <laughs> There we go. Looks like Tom Jones. Oh, he does look like Tom just, Jones. Now that you mention it, that looks a lot like Tom Jones. That wait a second. Wait. Wait, I, it, wait. That's not Barry Manilow. <laughs> he went too far and he looks just like Tom Jones now. Wait a second. Oh, there could be legal action taken. <laughs> this, this is only on the Dutch version of the podcast. Yeah. Now that was the Dutch version of the picture that uh, Barry Man that they released. That of is Barry Tom Mello. Jones. That's the best. That's that's gonna be like <laughs> I'm just gonna say that randomly to people. Jones. That is Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we are uh, Delilah. Delilah. You guys are Jones not. No, we're saying, not fantastic. serious. This was a little. This was a little of our. We played humor. a little goof on you. We're just goofing. We just were, new boot we goofing. We were goofing. Um, Eddie thought Eddie Eddie thought of that joke. I thought it would be funny because you it know, that's is how funny. I think. It is funny. He's he's like going through TMZ and he's like he's <laughs> like why don't we? He goes look at he goes and I, and I told him I said no jokes about Barry Manilow. And no I went, joke. I, I said, no, this is not really. You know what the joke Barry is? Barry looks fantastic. The, the joke is always whenever these these sites post unrecognizable, my follow-up is always give yeah. a picture that's not them. Give something that's just ridiculous. Yeah. I'm sorry. Nope. My feet are getting cold. Putting <laughs> on my fire sign. That's very professional. Come on. We, we run a top-notch program here. Um. So, uh, yeah. So, I was. Evening, uh, KTS. Hi, Karen. How are you? Stephanie's got your uh, uh, nice uh, gifts under the tree. Did that Christmas tree offend you when you walked in? Yeah, yeah, because it had swastikas on it. I'm like, that's you don't need to do that, dude. What are we gonna do? For I, know, our I know it's Christmas, show? but I mean, come on. When I get back from uh, Canada, we have to plan our Hanukkah show. When are you going to be back? What, because it begins on the night of the seventh, and then it's I don't know, like about four or five nights, something like that, right? What did Adam Sandler say? It's a, they go for eight, eight crazy, crazy nights. nights. Okay. Oh, the night of the seventh. That's right. The night of the seventh is the first night of Hanukkah. I think I get Peck on the seventh. Oh, okay. Well, I won't be here for the first night, but we'll do it. You know, as it yeah. comes along, a Sunday and Monday. LOL. Does anyone have any questions for? Um, I was I was gonna play the uh, John Davidson. Oh. Okay, so you guys were asking what a cameo is because i don't know why we were talking about it but we were talking about cameos that were you, you must have been talking about your your, your father at some point yeah. right yeah. okay so or were you just like was that your your, your john davidson episode where you were talking no about john you davidson? talked with us about i thought you were it was you and me who talked about it i didn't can't we? remember I thought no, it was. no because i was surprised we didn't bring it up so maybe, oh, we, maybe okay. we haven't is eddie married he no. is single single i'm and not personally worthy of him he not. proved that in high school <laughs> when he did not reciprocate my feelings. And, um, well, I didn't think. I for which I was not aware. He, he wasn't aware. I was not That's aware in story. the least. That's a story. That's a story. I think I was too young for you. I think you were just like. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to go find some older women because things are going so well for me here in high school. Let's, <laughs> go, let's go find those college girls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who doesn't know what cameo is? Some people don't know. Some don't, I you know. know. I've, I I've know. mentioned it in, in circles of friends, you know, who aren't as uh, media savvy. And they say, oh, well, it's a cameo. They, we're going to find out what a cameo is. We're going to see what it is. Let me just read Judy's really fast because she has a question for me. Hey, Nancy, I just want to know. How do I get out of that? Okay. Hey, Nancy, I just want um, to know what I threw down that I threw down for you last night. On of Rachel's uh, sugars was running her mouth in the chat about you, and I took care of her. Trust me. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. Yes. I like that a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Now I didn't want to bring this up until because I don't because I know Eddie doesn't care about it. No, I do care. I'm, I'm no, no, intrigued. No. I didn't. I don't want to bring this up because Stephanie and I are going to do a, a show on it later. Um, there are some Sussex Squad members. Mm -hmm on Instagram that got an advanced copy of Omid's book. Uh, and and it was just the two names. That's all it was. They're bragging about it. They're proud about it. 
Okay. How did they get that? Are they in with Omen? He gave them the book. How can we trust him? No, and as the, an audience, just people. How can people trust him if that's the thing? If he's given it to those. And Come there's on. this one girl, and Megan's mole will know who I'm talking about. Uh, resting doll face. I put her info on your Twitter today. I don't want to say her name. That's Tom Jones. But she is public Still and she, <laughs> she is, she is public and she has no problem talking about it on, um, on her Instagram page, but she was so proud of uh, getting that book. Uh -huh. And she talked about how great the book is, da, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And then what does she do? She then try. She's now selling merch on her Instagram page. She's trying to make money off being Omid's a uh, 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 little <laughs> lap dog. What, what does she have? Like advanced cop, advanced copy of a book shirts. I'll what show you, you right what, now. What if you here, how you, do you merch, how do you turn that into merchandise? You talk to them, and I. If you guys want, I'll put up the the pictures. I I don't want yeah. any, but before I do this, I don't want you guys going after her. All this is public. I'm not doxing anyone. Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing anything. This is all public. But I was very offended that now she's trying to sell T-shirts, mugs. I would never do that, especially to like my followers. But, I would never uh, do again, that. Again, that's okay. So what, what's the branding on this? What does she? What does the the T-shirt consist of? Is it her, an image of herself? Her name? One says. Wait, what? Oh, take, this is lame. take the prince, leave the monarchy. Oh. Ugh. And then another one says she has a coffee mug that says "Royalist Tears." Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's it's really I bad. Know. This is like that that like prefab stuff. You yeah. can just print whatever you want yeah. on it. Do you know how to click this and get their stuff up while I while I pull this up? Do you guys want to see it or no? So all I have to do is go on these and I can hit a, a show hit and it'll it, bring up the and then it brings it up. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Stephanie has not figured this out yet. Well, but, it seems. Um I want to bring enough. it up to you guys. Again, I'm not going to please, please, please don't go after this person. It, but she she is very um, proud of the fact that uh, Omid sent her a book, and you got to talk to him. Oh, don't yeah, of course I do. I, you're I, doing what I'm, Stephanie well, does, was, and it drives me nuts. I thought you were telling me no, something no, no, about don't this talk, book. No, 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 I'm talking to them, and you're talking to them too. To them, and you're talking to them, and everybody's talking over everybody. Yeah. All right, come on, let's see what's going on here. I'm uh, showing my favorite YouTubers to sell merch, but I'd never buy anyone's merch from YouTube. That's a that's a good idea. You gotta click. I gotta it. agree with you no. Gotta... This this one I'm gonna click. Oh god. So you saw my comment on some I oh, click on. God. There. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> There's just so much good stuff coming. Let's see. Stay away from the sugars. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, no sugar you know. tonight in my coffee. No sugar tonight in my tea. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, who, you who? are. No, who is this? No, 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 no. Is this from the color it's purple? Like from the seventies, dude. Oh, okay. That's a seventies band. You should definitely know that. <laughs> Not that old. No, I know, but you you, you like that. Hello, band. Sydney, Australia. Flora C. Yeah. So what else is going on out there? I what do you want to hear us talk this. about? I, 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 I don't know what to do it yet. Yeah. You just talk just, to them. To them. I mean, Man, it's like. Hey, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> I want to get real for a moment. I want to get real. <laughs> Not like that other stuff that was happening before. This is the real me. The real me. I want to talk to you. What is the real you? That's a great question. Who is Eddie? That seems to be the question. <laughs> um. Yeah. Keep it going. You got to say some stuff because I'm not. Okay. So... Give it to me. Give it to me. This is so silly. You know, you're worse than Stephanie. It's Stephanie good. Good. I like should this. be. I should Stephanie be. Stephanie goes like this. Stephanie goes like this. She goes. She like. I'm. I'm like Steph. Talk to them while I while I pull something up, and she's like, "What are you doing?" What are you doing? <laughs> she does that the whole time and it drives me nuts. Hi. Maybe I should maybe this is a this is a uh sign that I shouldn't bring up this person and you know it, it would probably be in poor taste. The, the one who's selling the merchandise? Well, just to yeah. bring her up, maybe that is. Okay, so we're gonna but go. Is, is she the one who was in the comment section though bad mouthing you or somebody was uh, I don't know. I'm sure it was some Sussex squad that was Bad mouthing me. This girl. We, we had our own girl, time with somebody. Listen, listen. Yeah. Stephanie Nile, Stephanie Nile, do this this person another time. We won't bring Eddie into it, and I'm not prepared for it, and I, I don't want to turn it. Into and I'm clearly that. not prepared for it. I, I wasn't prepared for talking to people on the other side of the screen. I'm just saying that this this person. Okay, so back to cameo. Back to cameo, the safe space. This is something we can talk. This was about. a while ago, but my dad, a, my dad, it was my dad's birthday, and it was during um, the lockdown, COVID, whatever. And everybody was like, 
um, putting together those little birthday videos from friends, like send in a birthday video and I'll put it together. So I did that and I, and I asked you. Yes. And Eddie sent a cameo. Yes, I decided to, to give my video time over to superstar John Davidson. John Davidson. Now, who knows who John Davidson is? Yes, that's, I hope. Hopefully, everybody. I mean, but, I know uh, who you he may is. remember him from the seventies and the eighties, and from the eighties uh, uh, version of the Hollywood Squares here in the Hollywood states. Hollywood Squares. Eddie is but not he's my husband. A singer, no. a showman. Bon vivant. Bon, yeah, I think right. That's what the kids say. But explain how cameo works. So cameo, you told John Davidson what to it, say. Cameo, you can find. Certain celebrities and 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 uh, uh, public figures, and for a price, they'll make a video for you. And you have a little box, and you can put in whatever you want. He and, spent money on this. Yeah, usually people will put in, you know, oh, this is my friend Jimmy, and he likes to go bowling, and he's forty six, and they'll talk, and they'll bring <laughs> up these little facts. So what I did was I, I provided John Davidson with essentially a script and outline that had a lot of lies in it. It was all just these weird misinformations and mispronunciations <laughs> and inside jokes. There, there are jokes in here about um, about uh, you. Uh, you made him look like he was a recovering um, either. Well, addict I, I, I made a gambler. You, you, I, I put in things about your father being a, a, a degenerate gambler and having addictions. He's not. And I made references to you and, and Stephanie um, having the names of the characters from whatever happened to Baby Jane. Yes. And um, you know, but the, he got it, and he did it, and it was it was a lot of fun, and he he felt like a like a crazy man for doing it, but he did it, and it's even up on one of his e examples on his cameo page. No. Yes, it's on there. Like you go into John Davidson's page, this video is on there. This is the but, you know. But I, but I said to myself, thing. you know, I said I said you got to do something special for the Sidleys. It is pronounced Sidley, right? <laughs> no, exactly. Well, it's pronounced <laughs> Sidley. Sidley. Okay. Not, yeah. Okay. But he uh, said. Sidley, Sidley, but he Sidley, said Sidley, Sidley, didn't he? No, he didn't say it. But somebody else said it a while okay. ago on a video I saw. So okay. I thought I would make reference to that. Uh, cameo is for celebs send messages fans with. Okay. So you guys ready to see it now? Imagine my dad watching this really. What? Team Kate. That's what I thought. I don't know yeah. who the heck Rachel is. Oh. Is that one of those friends people? Um, he asked me, and my team Kate, he thought you were referring to friends. Yeah. Um, no, he's team Kate. He you do not I would not have him on the show. We have a new catchphrase because that's Tom I Jones keeps not, popping up in there. Yeah, I know. I would not. <laughs> that's Tom Jones is the name. That's the name of the show. That's Tom Jones. <laughs> I would not have Eddie on the show. If he yeah, was team, I, I don't think it would be Megan a good fit. And Harry, yeah. no, I just don't associate with people like no. that. I don't. No. I don't. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I would, but I really don't. Okay. I'm, I'm writing a book called Second to End Game. Second so to End Game. I'm, I'm just getting. It's going to be all about the sidelines. I'm the sidelines. <laughs> Stop saying that because they're going to. I know no, they're going to say exactly. That's all the revenge for the old name for dead naming me. <laughs> Okay, guys, are you ready to see? So imagine my poor dad watching this beautiful video of, of all his friends yeah, that, wishing him happy. And I saved the John Davidson thing for the end. This and my dad was beyond confused. Okay, okay. Here we go, guys. John Davidson wishing my dad a happy birthday. Uh, Kerp, uh, th <laughs> this, uh, I hope I get this right. Now, I, uh, uh, I'm thinking about you. Happy Bastille Day. This is John Davidson. I've had eye surgery this week. I had my, my cataracts worked on. Have you ever uh, done that? I don't know. So I, uh, I thought I'd just do this even though I'm not all cleaned up. This is what I look like as a real person. Uh, you know, Eddie, Eddie Rich uh, has been uh, calling and writing, and he, he just wants to wish you so many good things. Uh, uh, because uh, you, you might, uh, Robert Childers uh, is, uh, went to Franklin High School with his daughters, Jane and Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make much sense to me, but... Uh, Kerp is an amateur photographer, ooh, and managed a photo. He did. He, he called, did call. he had him call him Kerp. 
<laughs> His <laughs> name is Kirk, like Captain Kirk, K-I-R-K. -K. But he had him call him Kirk. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, Matt, great. It overcame pill and horse race addiction. How do those two go together? I've, I've been addicted on a lot of things. Uh, horse race, so you like to go to the races, uh, okay? And pills, yeah, we have that, that can, that's so, such a human thing that so many people are going through and uh, you're a member of a very large group and, but you've uh, been able to get that under control, great. Happy Bastille Day. Uh, are you, are you French? Are you, <laughs> that's just, uh, this is an amazing message, but Kerp, what is, what is Kerp short for? Or is that just, just your name? I can't imagine this, the loving mother and father looking down on their little old baby and say, oh, he's so cute. What should we name him? I know, let's name him Kerp. Uh, I just can't imagine that scene, but that, that's just wonderful. I don't know where Franklin High School, should I know where that is? And should I know Jane and Blanche? I, I don't know if we're old friends or not. Jane. <laughs> Stop. Seventy and I were Jane and Blanche <laughs> from Baby Jane. Not, <laughs> <laughs> but Kerp, uh, and I don't know. Uh, I, usually, I sing something. Happy Bastille Day to you. Happy Bastille Day to you. Happy Bastille Day, dear Kerp. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just had cataract surgery, and that's why I look like this. All the best to you, Kirk. And Eddie, thank, thanks for, for making me part of, of your lives. All the best. And now part of the show. Okay. <laughs> part of all of your lives. Eddie wrote that whole thing, and my dad's face was I mean, he did not know at first what was going on. I, it was the best part of the your video. Your dad was just watching the recap of that video, though, right? I have can dad's go, can reaction. Can we go to the dad cam? Yeah, but you're going to have to talk to him okay. while I do it. Well, we want to see how he reacted to that and what he's thinking about this. I'm sure that there's something we can get out of there. How much was I that cameo? The, I, I do think, have the dad cam. We do have the dad cam. That's good. Uh, that cameo, I think think was somewhere between now off the top of my head 75 to 125 it was something like that that's a but, bargain but whatever it was i was like th if this goes right this is priceless yeah and john davidson bless his heart you can see what a sweet man he was i sent it to him and i think within about five or six minutes i had it back and it's indecipherable to somebody who's looking at you like what is this insanity and he he, he did it he was game and uh, i did not expect him to sing happy bastille day but I thought Bastille Day was funny to put as the beginning greeting since it was for a birthday. And, you know, so I'm like, we're going to get everything wrong in here. Like at, right out of the gate, you're going to know that this is insanity. But it's my way of showing love to our Kirby. A Kirby. No, Kirby. Where did you come up with Jane and Blanche? Like, Jane, what Jane and Blanche? You, no, I, I mean, I know what it's from, but the, what the made was, you think I, of I that? I thought, like, where can I get something about, about two sisters? Like, <laughs> and, I want, and I want sisters who are crazy. Twins from Jane and Blanche from now on? Yeah. <laughs> I forever changed your show. Thanks. <laughs> Jane and Blanche Sidely. Sidely. <laughs> Jane and Blanche Sidely. So uh, uh, Paul wants to know who John Davidson is. John Davidson is a he's an, an actor, musician. Um, he was more prominent in the seventies and eighties. Um, I think he uh, actually he hosted a show called That's Incredible, which we forgot about in the eighties and in the U.S. And he was also the host of the Hollywood Squares. And uh, yeah, he, he, now he, he uh, does music at uh, his own club called Club Sandwich. But he's- uh, Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's a real place. Yeah. Happy Bastille Day. He said, <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful Bastille Day. I like how he sang. Kerp, Kerp was not my own. Kerp was, was, a, was a reference to, um, to uh, oh, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, it'll take me a second here. There's um, who, who's the, Kurt you know, you, Metzer. But there's that, a that, that's who it is. It's, it's a reference to him. That's where you got that from. Yes. No. It's a to, I thought I was the only one who got. It's a, it's a reference to him because yeah, Sylvester Stallone, the guy who exactly. Who oh they they call him Kurt, and that's what it was a reference See, to. So this that's is it. why we share the same brain mm -hmm. because when when he plays Sylvester Stallone, he goes, yeah, "Come he, on, Kurt." He goes, "Kurt." That's exactly what it is. It's a reference to that. I follow Kurt Metzer on Twitter, and I always refer to him as. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. I, oh I go, I go crazy for like I, I used to follow Slice Stallone uh, on on Instagram so I could put Kerp references in all the time. I'm like, that's a great video. Did Kerp take that? <laughs> okay, guys, I just want you to know 
that Kyle, um, Kyle Dunnigan. That's exactly Kyle it. Kyle yes. Dunnigan. Yes, that's where I got Laura. It from. Yeah. Good job. Okay, Laura, we all share the same brain with Laura. Um, my dad just texted me, and I didn't notice okay. this because I had my uh -huh. phone off. But he, my dad just texted me. He was me watching that cameo again to make sure that okay. we knew that that was a picture of Tom Jones and not Barry. Are you Allen. serious? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> It's, it's good that we have yeah, him on the Tom Jones. We, we have him on the on the on the yeah. case as the fact finder. He's yeah. going to make sure everything's. Thanks, right. Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Kerb. Thanks, good Kerb. job, Kerb. Yeah. If Next, you guys, he's going to tell us that's John Davidson. So. If you guys haven't seen Kyle Dunnigan, this guy got me through the pandemic. He is hilarious. I have a quick Kurt question, Metzer. Judy. Maybe you're saying that I have an accent, which I can't hear. And no, I'm from Portland, Oregon. You sound so I don't like know. you sound like Larry David. You sound like you're from. New I York. hear a lot of things you from do. a lot of people, and I I must I, I I accept that I have some sort of accent, but I don't know what it is. You've but I'm an American. It. Yeah, I'm just a, a a native. Okay. Oregonian. Okay. Do you guys want to see my dad's reaction to? Okay, John let's go Davidson? live. Let's go live to how he's reacting to this show. And that John Davidson cameo. Okay. Okay. I have to. Um. Sorry, Let's guys. Let's see here. And yeah, we'll get it all worked out. We'll, we'll get, get it all. You can still talk. You can here. still talk to them. Well, I'm I'm reading Stephanie, their comments now. Um, Stephanie, you can still talk him. to them. Love it. Is she talking about she she loves Kerp or she loves John Davidson? I think sure John I Davidson and and Kerp. I understand that. I discovered Kyle um during the pandemic too. Yeah. 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 I, well, you know, I was familiar with him because of uh Reno nine one one. I did, I've never seen Reno. You haven't one. seen that. Well, no, so that, I, I made saw... reference to that earlier in this episode when I said we were goofing, new boot goofing. I'm going to show you that clip after the show. You, okay. You're going you're to appreciate that. A lot of great stuff on that show. Okay. The 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 way the Michael thing Buble. Made... I've never heard this one before. I remind somebody of Michael Buble. Yeah, you do. You hear that all the yeah, time. Oh, okay. I thought you were joking. I just like to. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know. I'll take it. Okay, here, guys. Um, here's my tents. God bless you guys for sticking with us today because I don't know. I didn't even know where the show was going because it's gone to a lot of fun places. It has got some weird, wild places. Very yes. high energy. Yes. Yeah, you come along with us. It's good. Reno 911 is hilarious. Thank you, Emily M for agreeing. Yeah. I've never seen it. But you also like that dumb show community. Yes, that smart show. Don't worry, this wasn't as that smart. Is you'll like it. Dumbest show. You, you see Kyle Dunnigan, you'll like it. Oh God, it's a stupid show. It's such a great show. Here, let me get to the part of that because I. Oh, know. you have his actual reaction. I thought we were. You going said to the dad you cam. wanted his. I said reaction. I wanted the dad cam. Is what I oh, said. Oh, you wanted the dad. <laughs> I wanted cam. to go into the dad cam and see oh, his I, reaction. Oh, I see Way what you're saying. It. Oh, man, <laughs> that was stupid. Um, I thought you wanted to see my dad's I want, actual. No, reaction. I wanted to go to the to the, the the bit the dad cam. You know. Do you guys want to see what Stephanie and I said first to him? <laughs> yeah, let's let's, okay. let's make this all. Let's just let, all about curb. We will we will make this all about curb. This was. My dad's reaction, Stephanie and I are going to go first, and then John Davidson will bring us home. Quite the cut, you. <laughs> you are, you're and um, I'm so happy that you got through your surgery Which this year, that? Oh. and you got your no, COVID vaccine, and you're all healthy. And um, I remember being in that waiting room during your surgery, and I was thinking, wow. People love Kirk Sibley. His funeral would be such a zoo. And then I thought we could like cremate you and mold God. your ashes into a golf ball and then have Tiger Woods, uh, you know, whether he's in rehab or not, have Tiger Woods hit you into the sunset there you go. on the 18th hole. So, I mean, not that you're going to die anytime soon. It was just a thought. Um, Pretty cool thought. Though. It is. So, all right, I love you, Dad. I just heard what Jeez. Stephanie said, and it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. There is absolutely no way Tiger Woods would be able to hit your ash ball. It would spontaneously combust the second that his club would hit you. So that's out of the question. We'd have to get like Jerry Player or Great Norman to do it or something. So don't worry, I'm on Great top Norman. of it. I'm not gonna have Tiger Woods touch that's your so ash fun. ball. It'd be somebody else. Okay. Happy birthday. I can't play this. Oh, you can't play that. Yeah, I can't the, play that strike. song. Strike. Here we go. Oops. Sorry, guys. If you've stuck with us this long. Then you'll stick with us through anything, and we love you. John uh, Davidson! This, uh, I hope I get this right. I, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about you. John Davidson? This is John Davidson. I've had eye surgery this week. I had my, my cataracts worked on. Have you ever done that? I don't know. So I, 
I thought I'd just do this. He was so cool. I'm not all cleaned out. Sure. This is what I look like as a real person. Uh, you know, Eddie, Eddie Rich has been uh, calling and writing. Eddie Rich? He, Robert he just Robert. 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 so many <laughs> things. Uh, uh, high school members. Robert. Because Robert Childers <laughs> uh, is, uh, went to Franklin High School with his daughters, Jane and Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, Robert uh, wrote it. Kirk is an amateur photographer ooh, <laughs> and managed a photo mat, right? <laughs> and overcame pill and horse race addiction. <laughs> How do those two go? Robert wrote that? this. I, I mean, <laughs> that's so, such a human thing that so many people are going through. <laughs> been able to get that under control, great. Happy Bastille Day. <laughs> uh, are you Are you? They French? must have him on oil or something. <laughs> that's just a... Uh, this is an amazing message, but Kirk, Kirk, Kirk what is Kirk, Kirk short for? Or that just is your name? I can't imagine this beloved mother and father looking down at their little baby and saying, oh, he's so cute. What should we name him? I know. Let's name him Kirk. Kirk. Uh, I just can't imagine that scene, but that, that's just wonderful. I don't know where Franklin High School, should I know where that is? And should I know Jane <laughs> Blanche? I, so I, I don't know if we're old friends or not, but Kirk, uh, <laughs> and I don't know, uh, I usually I sing so some nice Happy Bastille that. Day to you. Happy Bastille Day <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy Bastille Day to you. <laughs> I think uh, that was the best pieces. money you've ever spent. Oh, I absolutely agree. Absolutely. And what a what a what a way to end the show. <laughs> what a yes. way to end the show. Now I have to go because I leave early in the morning to pack. And I have to go because you leave early in the morning. I do leave early in the so morning. There's gonna be no one here to click on things and yes. to keep me speaking. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad <laughs> was thinking he was on pain meds. I don't know what see, the problem is my dad didn't know what a cameo was. It's like a lot of people. Like I didn't really know what it was, but you didn't know what a cameo was probably. I had no idea. That's I knew I knew Dave Fo well then I figured out Dave Foley was on cameo and I was like then you really knew what cameo yeah, was. Yeah, and then I knew what it was, but then I was like, Oh, but I can't. Like, why would I spend money on that? Do you, do you know what the original plan was? I'll give you a little bit of the, like the backstory. Originally, it was going to be Eddie Deason. Who? Eddie Deason. Who is that? E Eugene from Greece, the, the nerd who was on all the Oh, my movies. God. That would have been funny. It was going to be Eddie Deason, but Eddie Deason was having some issues in his life, and he had to step away from Cameo for a while. He's back. John? Don't worry. That, that's real. That's real. That's serious. John? But I went John Davidson because it had to be somebody who was – I wanted sort of like a, a 70s, 80s thing – where it was somebody who was like ubiquitous. You saw them all the time. John, I mean, and me, and John, I'm like, John Davidson's Davidson. perfect. John we Davidson. saw him. We physically saw him do the Music Man. He came. Through, you did. That's so he great. He came okay, through good. Portland, and we saw him as the Music Man. So we, I mean, it, we knew who he was, obviously. But it was, it was just he didn't. You don't, you I, don't I expect say, to get a cameo. He from didn't John expect Davidson. it. <laughs> uh, don't. Oh, are we talking about Megan? Okay. <laughs> like, are we talking about Megan? Ha ha. Well, you guys thought it was funny. I'm glad we were able to share that with you. We will be back time. for our Hanukkah extravaganza show. Coming soon. Coming very soon. To Hanukkah. A computer near you. Yes. Or a phone or whatever it is you're watching. Yes. On. Um, I'm going to probably be as offensive as I can. Co I'm going to have to run coming things. Coming to past Google you. Glass. Well, soon. am I allowed to wear my Hanukkah sweatshirt? Well, it is Hanukkah. So well, it's a so. menorah that lights up. It has a battery pack in it. Am I allowed to do that? It's, I'm not a like luddite. I'm not going to say no batteries. What are you talking about? Why I don't know. Wear? I got I I got uh, schooled before this show for saying That's something. That's not part of the NDA. NDA. You shouldn't You're have You're going to keep on riding on it. That's oh man, I'm <laughs> rightfully so. No, I didn't get schooled. I'm joking. Thank you for joining us. We had so much fun with you guys yeah, today. Don't apologize for rewatching. Yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for rewatching. Yeah. Thank you for telling your friends about it and for hitting the like button and the little bell that gives you notifications when things pop up. Doing all that stuff. Have a great Sunday. Have a great Monday uh, if it's already Monday where you are. Have a great 2023. Yeah. And uh, this life and the uh, next. We will see you for our Hanukkah um, extravaganza show very soon. I'm going to pretend like I'm a, at a Taylor Swift concert, right? Go to the Beyonce show. Yeah. Pretend that I'm a Taylor Swift. <laughs> I don't know how this thing works. It's raining! <laughs> <laughs>